Hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Assassin's Creed. So, a couple of things. Sorry, first of all, about the audio desync in the last episode. Not quite sure what happened there. Uh, it was fine in editing, and then after the render, I guess I didn't check it, and, uh, yeah. So, apologies. Uh, hopefully it wasn't too bad. I, I watched it through, and it was, it was off by, like, I want to say five seconds at most t towards the end, so it's not horrid. Well, not even five seconds, like a couple of seconds. In any case, hopefully you can still follow because my voice was in sync with it all. Anyways, um, we need to kill someone. I mean, we need to do what we came here to do. Altair, it is good to see you. And oh, hi. Peace. You as well, friend. I am sorry for your troubles. Think nothing of it. A few of your brothers were here earlier, in fact. Oof, if you'd heard the things they said, I'm certain you'd have slain them where they stood. It's quite all right. Yes, you've never been one for the creed, have you? Is that all? I'm sorry. Sometimes I forget myself. What business brings you to the mass? A man named Tamir. Al Muallim takes issue with the work he does. I meant to end it. I trust you have searched the area to better understand your enemy. Yes. Here's what I've learned. Tamir rules over the Souk El Salah. He makes his fortune selling arms and armor and is supported by many in this endeavor. Blacksmiths, traders, financiers. He's the single largest death dealer in the land. And have you devised a way to rid us of this blight? A meeting is being arranged at Souk El Salah to discuss an important sale. They say it's the largest deal Tamir has ever made. He'll be distracted with his work. That's when I'll strike. Your plan seems solid enough. I give you leave to go. And there we go. We collect our feather. Let Al Mualim's will be done. You may rest here until you are ready. And we are given permission to conduct our assassination. Which is so interesting. It's one of the most interesting parts of all of this. That, like, you literally need to get permission to do the assassination, even if it's ordered by Al Mualim. It's such an interesting little thing about the uh, assassin order. Uh, the other thing that's changed since last time is I just stopped using the Xbox controller. I will try and figure out a way to use the PS4 controller because it feels better to me on this game. But for right now, I'm on uh, PC controls. So either this will go great or this might be the worst uh, assassination that I've ever done in my life. Because I have not played this game with PC controls. We'll find out, I guess. I will say, the beginning assassinations are a lot harder than the ending ones. M mostly because of the lack of uh, abilities and stuff. Alright, so. Oh shit, what's the map button? Oh, it gets tab. So, we need to head over there. So he is in the bazaar area. And as we know in the bazaar area, there are actually guards scattered around the place. I will try to do this as silently as I can. But I truthfully... Like, 100% honesty. Do not remember if this is easy or hard. I think it might be easier if you actually... Oh, right, he's in the middle here. I think he is, at least. Yep, he is. He's down there. Trying to remember the easiest way to kill him. The worst part is, I think I have to approach from down there too. But I'm not entirely sure. Where's our target? By the way, that's what Eagle Vision does. We haven't used it at all, but I'm trying to get a beat on our guy. Where is he? There we go. Hmm. I guess we have to get closer. Um, or, 
Or... I have actually broken this. Oh, no, you can't actually drop, actually. So, maybe if I'm clever. to do to solve this problem of ours. These weapons are needed now. I see no solution. The men work day and night, but your client requires so much, and the destination, it is a difficult route. Were it that you could produce weapons with the same skill as you produce excuses? I have done all I can. It is not enough. Then perhaps you ask too much. Too much? I gave you everything. Without me, you would still be charming serpents for coin. All I asked in the return was you build the orders I bring you, and you say I ask too much? <coughs> you dare disrespect me? Peace, Tamir. I meant no insults. Then you should have kept your mouth shut. No, stop. No. Stop. He stabbed him. I'm just getting started. Oh, God. Jesus! Fucking carving him up! You came into my souk, stood before my men, and dared to insult me! Oh, okay, alright. Well, uh, okay. Well, he's dead. Yeah. Leave the body. Let this be a lesson to the rest of you. Think it twice before you tell me something cannot be done. Now get back to work. Alrighty then. Now here's the problem. Everybody goes insane. The first time I played this, like... Everybody went absolutely nuts. So Tamir actually is going to walk around this place and, uh, you know, just look at the wares and things like that. What we can do, I believe this might be the silent way to do it. Wait, did he just leave? No. So I believe you can hide in here. I think. Don't remember. I also don't remember what lock on is on P on the PC, but I believe he can walk over here and we can just pull him in. In the, in the meanwhile, he's just gonna walk around and just be a general dick to like everybody. I don't understand what you do all day. Your stall is filled with goods. It should be your purse that's filled with coin. Why can't you sell these things? It isn't difficult. Perhaps you are not trying hard enough. Look at him just like saying everybody else sucks. All right, wait. What is uh? What's lock on? I don't know what lock on is. Can I assassinate you? Oh my god! Hold on. I'm sorry, everyone. I just don't know what the controls are. Target lock. F. Okay. Well, I'm going to try it next time he walks by here. Ugh, I'm sorry for everybody, because he will make the entire round. But this is one of the easier ways to do this, I think. The other way is you can obviously get on top of one of these platforms and do an aerial assassination on him. Or you can get into an outright fight with Tamir, which we can do, and we can take care of him. The only problem is... Tamir is a fighter on the level of a Templar, which, as you've seen before, if you watch the other episode, when we fought the Templars, they are really hard at our current state when we don't have a lot of abilities unlocked and all that fun stuff. So. 
hopefully we're, we're able to assassinate him as he walks by next time. There are a few times where you can actually do these assassinations totally silently and not get into any fights. Um, I, I believe this is one of them. But I'm not entirely sure. Why can't you sell these things? It isn't difficult. Perhaps you are not trying hard enough. Oh my god, he's just gonna You're saying the same thing, just get over here. Come on. Let me assassinate him, game. Let me do it. Alright. Can't assassinate Tamir. Get get off the get off. Thank you, game. Alright, we're just gonna have to kill him and run then. I thought you could do this silently, but I'm, I guess I'm wrong. Sup, Demir. Be at peace. You'll pay for this. You and all your kind. It seems you're the one pays now, my friend. You'll not profit from suffering any longer. You think me some petty death dealer, suckling at the breast of war? A strange target, don't you think? Why me, when so many others do the same? You believe yourself huh. different then? Oh, but I am. For I serve a far nobler cause than mere profit. Just like my brothers. Brothers? Ah, but he thinks I act alone. I am but a piece. A man with a part to play. You'll come to know the others soon enough. They won't take kindly to what you've done. There are no problems currently with your Good. Uh, I look forward to ending their lives as well. Such pride. Fucking it's telemarketers. For you, child. All right. So now that we've killed Tamir, everybody hates us. So we gotta book it. Oh, oops. That I did. Well. That's what I get for using PC controls. Sup? Hi. Yeah, you're going to get angry at me. That's fine. Oh, Q is chase cam. Well, in any case, it's fairly simple for us to get away now. And, of course, we can run past our civilian friends. Nope, I did not. That's not what I did. Still being chased. Okay. There we go. Can can you? All right. Well, God, he's even worse on PC controls. He's already just a total asshole. Hey, there we go. Blending in. Look at this one guard. He's like, what? He went down here. Wait a minute. There we go. Vanished. So, the thing is, after you have assassinated a target, the entire city is on alert constantly. Um, this gets way harder in the later cities where there are way more guards everywhere. For right now, the rooftops are pretty clear and it's easy enough to get back to where you need to. Like, every guard is on, like, immediate alert status, so you have to blend past them. Word has reached me of your victory, Altair. You mean the of bells? Your and my respect. Thank you. It is a shame that the other assassins continue to hold you in such poor regard. Rafiq, I do not care what the others think of me. As you wish, Altair. <laughs> bring news of your victory to Al Malik. I'm certain he has more work for you to do. Well, there we go. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. And after we're done, that's the assassination complete. Now, it should ask us if we want to return to Masyaf or do stuff here. Nope, that's later. Okay. Then it's just out of the animus for now. Get some rest as Desmond in the real world. Out of the machine, Mr. Miles. What's the matter, Doc? Miss Stillman is once again insisting I let you rest. Oh. What was that? He has something on him. Well, we'll just have to, uh... 
get that from him later. <laughs> also, we could just access his uh her mailbox. From Lucy to Warren. Found your access key pen again today in the parking lot. Wow. Keep it in your pocket instead of letting it hang off your coat. Mm, that's what we saw. Access key pen. Wow. That's good to know. I'm not going to read these fully, but you can generally read most of theirs. Prohibited from discovering corporate policy. Look at that. You're acknowledge, you acknowledge that and agree that Abstergo has developed such confidential information by the investment of significant time, effort, and expenses, and that such confidential information provides Abstergo with a significant competitive advantage in its business. Basically, you are not allowed to talk about anything. Um, the other thing that's in here, Abstergo shall be entitled to injunctive or other equitable relief as the court deems appropriate. Well... Let's see what courts go in there. Obviously, the Templars are not above killing people. Vidi Warren Vidic. Uh, you said it wound up like Layla earlier. What did you mean? Who's that? <laughs> P.S. Why do you sign your email? It says right up at the top who it's coming from. Who's Layla? Weird. Well, we can read hers. But that's just because she's right there. Like telling me who put the stick up his ass? We have a deadline. One week. Well, six days now. Deadline? I can't talk about it. Man, put yourself in my shoes. I'm being held hostage by a group of scientists. At least I think you're scientists. And forced to spend all day in some crazy ass machine. You won't tell me what you're looking for or why you want it. But I'm supposed to be thanking you for keeping me alive. This is so fucked. Sorry, but it is. What do you want me to do? Look at me when you're talking Let's to me? See. I don't know. Maybe give me some answers? I can't. And it's better this way. Safer. Is Safer it? For who? Both of us. Both of us. Well, that's a little ominous. Oh, there's another computer over here. This laptop, by the way, stays charged all the time without a cable to it, and it's really impressive. Does <laughs> she have anything else to talk about? You know what? I've got a question I think you can actually answer. What's up? Why is it that sometimes the guys in there talk like they're from the future? The future? Yeah, I mean the present. Now, today, whatever. You've probably noticed that English has become the official language of the Holy Land. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> the Animus is translating sure, nobody's speaking Farsi. Title into more modern English. So expect a few anachronisms. I could probably make it more authentic, but... You ever read Chaucer? Who? Yeah, yeah, definitely not for you. Yep. I've only read the Canterbury, or one of the Canterbury Tales. I haven't read the entire thing. But even I wouldn't want to impose that on myself. Can you tell me more about Abstergo? What goes on here? Beyond the whole keeping me prisoner thing. Abstergo is one of the largest pharmaceutical companies in the world. Their primary focus is antidepressants. There's huh. some information on the computer over there. But you already said this isn't about testing a drug. So what's the deal? I don't like where this is going. So it's safe to assume the Animus is not a part of their public face. What, you haven't seen the commercials? Oh <laughs> my god. She has a sense of humor. I'm sorry, Desmond. I've got a lot of work to do. Like I said, if you want to know more about the company, take a look at the computer. The telecommunication stuff is particularly interesting. Although I think the only thing we can access from the computer right now is her email. Yeah, telecommunications, aka read my emails. She is telling us this. Interesting. Aren't you tired? Ah, uh, that's it. We've exhausted her talking points. Very, very interesting, Lucy. All right. So now we go in here, and the door closes behind us. Of course. Well, nothing here. That's annoying. Did I already interact with this? Man, I can't even change my clothes. Uh, maybe it's the next one that that happens. Bathroom. Anything we can interact with here? I don't think so. It's been a while since I remember, since I've played this fully. Oh, oh God. Well, they watch you shower in the morning. Although that's not even true because like literally Vidic comes and wakes us up and then we go in the Animus. I don't think Desmond, like, I don't think Desmond has ever changed his clothes slash sl or uh, showered in this game. 
I don't know. Maybe they make it so that like you're 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 supposed to assume that he does like a normal person, but I don't know. Anyways. Too bad. Well, that's not creepy. Let's go, Mr. Miles. Time's wasting. Yeah, we don't like that. And there's that, and there's that, and all right. Hey, wait, where's Lucy? Where's Lucy? Oh, don't worry, she'll be with us soon enough. So why are you doing all this, Doc? What are you hoping to accomplish? You turn the television on lately? Read the newspaper? Never cared much for that stuff. Then, let me sum it up for you. The world's a mess. <laughs> it's pathetic, really. You've seen it firsthand yourself. A thousand years between you and your ancestor, and society remains just as barbaric, just as stupid. And your point is... Order, Mr. Miles. The world needs order. That is what we're working towards, and that is what you're helping us to achieve. It's like a paladin from D&D. Do you expect me to believe you're building a better tomorrow? That's exactly what we're doing. The human race calls out for direction. They want to know why they're here, what they're meant to do. Well, we're going to tell them. And once they understand how to live their lives, everything will be better. Better how? An end to all conflicts. Large and small. Isn't that what you assassins strive for? Peace in all things? I told you, I'm not an assassin. Right, right. I still don't see where I fit into things. In time, Mr. Miles. In time, you'll understand. Or you won't. So no answers from him. As long as you show us where it is. You're such a dick. Where what is... Sorry, I'm late. Ready to go? Yes, we are. All right, Warren. We'll continue this conversation. Uh, never, because you're not a person I can interact with. See, no, no red button. Oh man, but he's reading his emails. Oh, I'd love to get into those emails. See what else is going on. Stop screwing around and lie down on the animal. Jesus, let me walk across the room, you dick face. Uh, what's up, Lucy? Well, let's see uh, the continuation of Altair's story. So, memory block three. Two assassination things here. Ah, oh, it's continued. Oh my god, just shut your fuck up. Vidic is a, just like... Ugh. So taking your time is great, no, but um, really slows down. Uh, let's play. Yes, I have. Confident that this is but the first of many successes. Tamir spoke as if he knew you well. He implied my work had a larger meaning. Significance comes not from a single act, but the context within which it is performed. The consequences born of it. Then is there more I need to know? Altair, your greatest failure was born of knowing too much. If I choose to withhold information, it is only to ensure you do not make the same mistake a second time. I say, huh. No, you don't. And it will remain this way until you've learned your lesson. Still, you have performed competently. And as such, I restore a rank and will return a piece of your equipment. Go now, either to Akka or Jerusalem. There are men in both cities who require your attention. The bureau leaders can tell you more about what needs to be done. Alrighty then. So we get our knife back. I don't know if I like the short blade all that much. It's interesting. Um, honestly, I don't remember using it. Oh, right. I can't equip it here. Well, we'll get a little training thing with it. What the fool? Huh? What the fool? Sup, train me. 
Altair, it seems my students do not fully understand what it is to wield a blade. Perhaps you could show them what you know. Okay. Counterattack. So wait, hold on. Before we do that. Alright, well. So lock on. Block. And then as they come at you, counter. This, by the way, immediately makes every fight easier from here on in. <laughs> like 3,000%. I'll be able to do a lot of uh, attacks. A lot of fights. Now, that being said, Templars still don't care about this. So, it's, Templars are still uh, a uh, an actual, like, vi viable threat. You must be busy. I understand. Yeah, gotta go kill people. Whee! So, now we have two options. We can go to Acker or we can go to... Um, Jerusalem. I think I want to go to Acre first. Because Jerusalem is beautiful and, like, really amazing to look at, actually. Especially because I don't think we go to the poor district there. I think we go to the mid district or the rich first. I don't remember. But Acre. Acre is something new entirely. And it's very interesting to l take a look at it and see what's going on. Now, part of me is saying go to Jerusalem first so that you can get a, another ability unlocked first, which would be the tackle ability, which is going to be really useful in Ocker for a certain reason. But, eh, we'll figure it out. Uh, so I'm going to get to Ocker in this episode, even though we're going to run over time a little bit. My bad. It's fine. And then we still need the jump grab ability. Once I have jump grab, once I have tackle, and um, there's another one for combat that's really useful against the Templars that you don't get till a lot later. But I don't remember what it is. You have rescued to pass unnoticed into guarded areas. We find scholars. Woohoo! Alright, so. Akar is over here. That's fine. So, down here, then down here, and then down here. We'll get these two viewpoints, I think, later, because there's no real reason to grab them now. Um. Ultimately, they really... We'll get them when we're getting the flags. And about the flags and all that stuff. Flags and Templars are going to come either in a live stream or episodes all to themselves. Because, yeah, they really do just break up the pacing in a not great way. So, I'd rather leave that to... Uh, its own little time where I can just do them and go through the entire city probably so it'll probably be after I have every city unlocked and uh, there's a very clear time where you can do that by the way it's super fun to just run through the, those guys um, but I'd rather not get in a fight right now so So these guys, like, hate us for no reason. We could get into a fight with all of them, especially now that we can counterattack. Now, the thing I'm worried about is this one of the towers guarded by a Templar. So I don't really want to fight a Templar right now. But if it comes down to it, I guess I'll have to. I think we might be okay. Okay, we're all right. No Templars here. Okay. There, there are a couple of towers that straight up have a Templar on them. Also, there are a couple of towers that have people walking around on these uh, parapets. So be careful of them, too. Like that one asshole... 
At the very top of that one place. Ugh. Where does this take us? Oh, perfect. Bottom of the cliff. Beautiful. Not gonna lie, I really wish you could do stuff with the water in this game. It's just a damn shame that you can't. Because there's a lot of really, really nice water areas. And you don't explore them at all. You do in the second game. In the second game, you can swim! Oh. Or is it straight up... Is that a Templar? Maybe not a Templar. We do need to go this way, though. The one time I'm going to use the horse blend. Uh. Or I can show you that off. Show that off, rather. Wait, can I do that with a horse? I can't do that with a horse. It's probably a good thing I'm not doing it. I don't know if you can run across that gap with a horse. Like, go all the way to the other side. Look at how many flags there are here. Oh, please. There's a Templar. I'm trying not to do it so that I don't forget which ones I've killed. It's a very real fear. I've done it before where I've had one flag left in the kingdom area and I'm just like, oh, fuck life. I think the best place to go is above right here. There's a whole thing down here. There's Templars. There's people. It's just a bad area. Oh, there's a Templar right there, actually. Uh-huh. It's a little harder to get to Ucker if you go there first. Thankfully, this is a little easier, and I think we can... Come on, come on. Can, you want it? There we go. Got stuck. Stuck. Oh, boy. Oh, risky, but worth it. So this is actually a camp, I believe. Uh, if you start shit here, it gets a little weird. Uh, nope, not the camp I was thinking of. Maybe we've already been through the camp. Can't remember. But Acker is right there. Hey, you. Um, how do I... Aha. What? Oh. My horse... My horse came for me. Is that a Templar? I'm just gonna get on a horse. Goodbye. Oh, no! Wrong button! Assassin! They're all French. Which makes sense why this is called Acker and not Acre. Was King? No. I was about to say something stupid, but I thought better of it because I was like, nope, nope, definitely not. Ah, this is what I'm thinking of. There's, there's. A place. That right down there is a camp. And, um... That's annoying. There are, are like, three Templars down there, I'm pretty sure. Well, that's in the last viewpoint here, so... Let's go ahead and try and get it. Just approach from the right angle. That's all. Now... There's also a flag here. 
I'm gonna get this flag only and only because I know that it's gonna be here. That should be two. I realized there were other flags on top of uh, other towers. Or not on top, but like on other towers, but whatever. I'll just remember that I got these. Oh, no, I'm not going to remember. I'm going to be in the middle of the stream and be like, What are the two that I already have? Oh, well. I'll get over it. All right. And there's almost every viewpoint done. From here, actually, I could actually... When it tells me, do I want to go to Masyaf or do I want to stay here? I could actually just go to the kingdom. And make this trip myself to Jerusalem and get the rest of the, uh... Get the rest of the, uh... The viewpoints in the middle there. Actually, that's probably what I'm gonna do. And then we'll have all the viewpoints done. We never have to come back to it again. Whee! And there we are. Yeah, yeah, everybody's kind of an ass here. Also, the Br the uh, Brits are here. There's Akar. It's not a great place. Not gonna lie. Pretty terribly, actually. Pretty terrible, actually. It's a huge castle. I think it's dead. It's desolate. People pick on the locals. Plenty. There's a lot of people over there. Well. Guess we're gonna have to beat the fuck out of some locals in the next episode. So, uh, see you guys then. Bye bye.